Welcome to today's action-packed episode of AJY. What? It's a monster box, but don't be afraid, it's not a real monster. It's just a monster of a box. Man, I love these things. That's uh, not a secret. It is quite well known that uh, I am a fan of these monster boxes because you get a plethora of booster packs. And you're basically paying $3 for each one, you know? $30, 10 packs. Instead of paying $4 and some change for a booster pack, paying $3 and you're getting variety. I love these things. Anytime I find them, I buy them. Hands down. Hands on the ground. Now, I think you should buy them too. I'm not threatening you. What I'm saying, it's it's a good idea, okay? I don't know why I had to pull the knife out to make that point. But, you guys, you get the gist. You know what I mean? Three, two, one! All right, all right, all right. What are we gonna get today? I also want to try to find one of those boxes that you get extra stuff in, like keychains or something like that. I'd like to get my hands on another one of them soon. I do have Kaiba hanging from my backpack now. Okay. Holy Christmas. Galactic Overload. Fusion Enforcers. Dark Saviors. Flames of Destruction. Pharaoh's Servant. Um... Wow, another another time where we got two um, packs that are legacy packs in the same thing. That's pretty nice. Um, Crisis, Cybernetic Horizon, Breakers of Shadow. So let's see, we'll go this, this, uh, Dark Saviors, Fusion Enforcers, Galactic Overload can come in there. Let's start out with these. Oh man. Almost knocked the camera over. Yeah, I know. I'm a tad excited. What do you want from me? We will roll our dice on the legacy packs. That's what we will do. But um, for now, let's just go ahead and dig in. Man, I love these things. I wonder how many hollows I'll get. I know, you know, there's some that have five hollows each in the packs, but like these ones and some of these top ones, you're not always going to get anything that great. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai, uh, Battery Man, Spy C Spy. Holy crap, dude. We're starting out with an ultra rare? Wow, that thing looks amazing, too. Look at that. These are the ultra rares that I love to get my hands on. I mean, when they really got that nice outline border. Performer Pale Turn Toad. Damn. Sapphira, Queen of Dragons. This card was virtual summon this turn, or if a light monster was sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard this turn while this card is faced up, you can activate one of these packs. Draw two cards and discard one. Wow. Wow. Discard one random card from your opponent's hand. Wow. Add a light monster from your graveyard to your hand. D dude. This is actually a really good card. This is a really good card. If I can Ritual Summon this, which wouldn't be that hard, if I Ritual Summon this in Drytrons would be super easy. And I would get to go... Why does that side look funny? Oh, that's weird. It's like not, um... Not blued all the way. Like some of it is uh, just a little bit silver instead of all the way dyed. All right, we gotta put this down somewhere. Put it right there. Form Pale Turn Toad, Demolisher of Rituals, um, 
the Archfiend card lets you special mod if you got a um, spellcaster. Yang Zing Unleashed. Man, starting out strong. That is pretty cool. All right, maximum crises. Damn, what a way to start. All right, Magician's Left Hand, DD Ghost, True Draco Apocalypse, Prologue of the Destruction Swordsman. Hey, cool, we got a Lyralist card. I think I have, what, one maybe of these? So that's kind of cool. Put that in the deck. Perform Pell Coin Dragon, Phantasm Spiral Grip. Grip, uh, equipped only to no monster here when this quick card destroys. You can special summon a Phantasm Dragon, okay. Lyralisk, Cobalt Sparrow, and Breakaway. We already have all the uh, Lyralisk stuff we need. We can add this in now. But uh, what do we do? During your opponent's battle phase, send one spell card from your hand to the graveyard in the battle phase, then face up monsters currently on the field have their effects negate to the end of the turn. It's pretty damn good, actually. All right, where is our rare? And I think I just buried the rare in the last one, the turn toad. So let's put those together and start our pile accordingly. All right, flames of destruction. Man, I'm already like happy as hell. I don't even, like the rest of this is whatever, man. I'm cool. I'm cool with whatever I get now. Watch Cat. World Legacies Corruption? I don't think I know that one. I'll read it in a sec. Element Saber. Element Saber Makani. Ultra Rare. Trickstar Light Arena. Another one that I needed, so that's cool. Element Saber Aina. And Zector, Crystal Conclave, and Background Dragon. So, let's go ahead and read the World Legacy card, because most of these are alright. Once per turn, if a face-up Link monster you control is destroyed by battle or leaves field because of your opponent's card effect, you can just uh, special summon one World Legacy monster from your hand or deck in defense. Alright, never mind. Because I really don't play World Legacy monsters. I just like their spells. Alright, and this one was Cybernetic Horizon. Psychic Ace. Goki. Restoration Point Guard. Crusadia. Arborea. Noble Knight. Helenor. And Link Disciple. Both of those are good. Link Turret, Terrifying Toddler of Torment. You can send one feed monster from your deck to your graveyard. If this card is sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard, you can special summon this card from face down defense. Wow. It's pretty good, actually. Um, I wish, like, if that was a hollow, that would be pretty cool. Because that's not a bad card. You foolish burial that or something like that and send it to the graveyard. It automatically brings itself out face down. Oh my god. Alright, Overload. I hear you. You do not want to be opened. Why do you not want to be opened? Blade Bouncer. Lady of D. Morpho Butter Spy. Nitwit Outwit and Evo Price. Oh, that is a hollow. A shining elf. Your opponent normally supposed to summon this monster except during the damage step. You can detach your material. That monster loses 500. Evo Price. Once per turn of a monster is supposed to summon by the effect of Evil Tile. You can target field and destroy it. Card on the field. Mini Guts, Light Ray, Phantom Bouncer. Breakers of Shadow. Yeah, of course, it's not first edition. None of these are, but man, I've opened first edition breakers and it is exciting. Okay. Sharanu Smith, Blackwing, that's good. Put that here. Dino Mist. Oh, great card. Great card, and I only got one of, so now I got two, that makes me happy. 
Goyo King. Damn, that's good, man. I'm happy about that. The Sea Castrum, two level eights. Okay. Robot Buster Destruction Sword. Dino Mick Power Load. Dragon Buster Destruction Sword Band. But man, damn, that's cool. What a great opening. All right, still got four packs. Now we're entering the hollow uh, packs, so these next two will be all hollow. All right, Shadow Vampire. Scapegoat, awesome, awesome. Vampire Retainer, Vampire Koala, and Dina Hero for Hire. This will make my second copy of this. Damn, Scapegoat, nice. Nice, man. What a great pull. What great pulls in general. I'm really excited for Fusion Enforcers. Man, I love this set. So hopefully this uh, this set can give me something good today. Invoked Kliga. Uh, I'm not sure if I have this one, probably. Fluffle Owl. I don't know if I have it in secret though. So that, that's what I'm wearing. Fluffle Owl, Refusion, Fright for a Wolf, and Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. So not that super exciting. It's nice to get a secret rare invoked card, um, but probably wish it would have been one of the other ones. It's pretty cool though. I'm not complaining because this set was so far amazing. All right, we are down to it now. Since it's Legend of the Blue Eyes, you know, we're not going to use our Kaiba dice. We're going to use our other Kaiba dice with the actual blue eyes on it. So, let's see. Even, odd. Go ahead, pick in the comments. Is Pharaoh Servant going to have it or is Blue Eyes? Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, which one's going to have the better card? Dice, what do you got? Even, odd. Odd it is. Is there a blue eyes in there? Oh my god. Alright, Pharaoh Servant. Where you at? Where you at? Ani Tank. I remember using this card. Bubonic Brahmin. Regulation of Tribe. Science Soldier. Skull Invitation. Each time a card is sent to the Grigard, inflict 300 damage to its owner for each card sent. Spike bot. I'm gonna put that right here. Spike bot. Dark fire. Soldier number two. Armored glass. Num. Numianas healer. Numianas healer. You manage this card when you take damage to your life points. Increase your life points by a thousand in addition. Increase your life points by five hundred per card if they're additional in your graveyard. All right. And then we're down. To our last pack. Come on, Yugi Kaiba, Heart of the Cards. Bless our blue eyes. Blue eyes, legend of blue eyes. White Dragon Pack. Beast Fangs. Spike Seedra. Trial of the Nightmare. <gasps> Man, I just opened a poly in one of these old packs, and now I'm opening Swords of Revealing Light. You love to see it. Dragon Capture Jar, too. Man. All face-up Dragon-type monsters are changed to defense position and cannot change their battle positions. Cards straight out of the cartoon. Swords of Revealing Light. From L O B 101, number 101. Dragon Treasure. Kumotokoi. Koyo. Beaver Warrior and Silver Fang. Oh, with the fangs. With the beast fangs. Oh my god. Alright. Okay. Holy Christmas. We've got. Swords, Dragon Capture, and Skull Invitation to go along with Kaliga, 
couple of hollows, Dinah, hero for hire, couple of vampires, and a scapegoat, black wing, interrupted kaiju slumber, a great card if you don't know. This is incredible if you play kaijus. Goyo King, Evo Prize, Shining Elf, Noble Knight, Link Disciple, Element Saber Ultra, uh, Trickstar, Lyralisk, Perform a Pal, Perform a Pal, and to start and also end this video, it is our ultimate rare, Sephira, Queen of the Dragons. She is the Queen of the Dragons. She is a dragon, but she's the Queen of all dragons. An incredible card with incredible effects. Whew. Okay. Thank you for watching. But I'm going to activate Swords of Revealing Light, attack in for 25, and draw two cards. Bam! Thank you. I'm out. And my turn. Amazing. Amazing.